Hi everyone, this is Sean from minifigpriceguide.com and today we, I just received the Holiday 2016 catalog in the mail, as you can see there. On the front, we have free shipping with orders over $35. We've got the Holiday Train that I'm sure will be a big seller this year. We've got the free 24-in-1 Holiday Countdown set being given away on page 2. I have to see page two for details. All right, here's page two and three. Um, like I said, we've got the holiday train here. The holiday train comes in at a whopping $99.99. Um, 734 pieces. Looks pretty similar to the last time. Good looking set. Um, Got a few figures with it, the locomotive driver, the ticket collector, the grandmother, the girl, the boy. All right, then we've got an overview of what's in the catalog. You can see that here. They're listing the sets by the figures, which that's what we all like anyways. Well, not all of us, but. Um, here's the three advent calendars, the Friends, the City, and the Star Wars. Um, I did pick up my Star Wars Advent Calendar. I wouldn't wait too long because I think they made too many the last couple of years. So they're planning to sell out from now on. Um, then we have a one-page spread on the Disney Castle. Um, I've said it before, but if you are looking to get this for the holiday, I would make sure that you pick it up soon. Um, I don't think it'll be easy to find. Um, it's a great build. The kids would love it. I mean, who's not going to like a Disney castle? Um, I actually have not picked this up or the minifigures yet. Um, it's still holding prices of about 150 bucks for a set of the figures in this set. More than I want to pay. Um, next up we have the architecture, or not architecture, the modular buildings. we still got the Palace Cinema, the Parisian Restaurant, the detective's office, and the brick bank. I think the prices have all stayed the same. Um, lo and behold, we still have the Volkswagen T1 camper van, which they've been threatening to quit for about five years now. If you don't have it, it's a great set. Um, there's got to be a lot of them out there, so I don't think it's an investment set. But uh, The Ferris wheel. Um, I imagine that this has only got a little bit of time left. Uh... I don't think these sell as well as you would think. And I think that people are going to be really mad and kicking themselves that they didn't pick it up when they're gone. It is 200 bucks though. Um, got Big Ben, the Capitol building. United States Capitol building. I have not picked up the Capitol building or Big Ben. I probably won't get Big Ben. Um, I'm out of display space. Uh, the Capitol building is on my list of pieces to get. I mean, it's a nice set. I think it'll look good next to the White House. Um, then we have Buckingham Palace. Not on my list, but if you're an architecture set collector, these sets really look good. All right, next up, probably the best page of the whole catalog. I mean, we've got a Porsche, a VW, a Ferrari, and a Mini Cooper. Four extremely iconic cars. Um, get the Porsche. The Porsche is probably the best set that they've come out with as far as cars go. I'm sure there'll be a better one next year or in two years because they're really doing a good job with these. Um, but this set is phenomenal. We've got our Technique sets. The Bucket Wheel Excavator. Um, very, very pricey. $279, but it's a huge set. We've got the... Yeah, however you say that. $179. We've got the Volvo EW160E. Um, $119, not a bad price. Nice looking little set. Looks like they quit making the Volvo bulldozer or they just haven't included it got a one page mindstorm spread uh two ghostbusters sets we've got the ghostbusters car 
Um, you want to get the minifigures. Uh, I did not keep my car. I'm not sure. Uh, I got the Firehouse Headquarters. Don't miss this set. Um, I'm not sure how long it'll last, but you'll kick yourself later if you don't get it. It's probably one of the best looking sets ever. Got a full page spread on Mindstorms, Minecraft sets, excuse me. The Village, the Jungle Treehouse, and the Fortress. I am a huge fan of the Minecraft minifigures. I think they look great. I think they did a good job on them. And uh, can't say enough about them. The Ocelot is only in this set. Pretty neat figure. Um, we've got our Marvel superhero sets. Uh, these were all the rage two months ago, but now they're yesterday's news. Um, two sets worth noting here. Uh, this tanker truck takedown. It's difficult to find. It's the Toys R Us exclusive. So you've got to get it at the store or at Toys R Us. Um, I've yet to see it in stock at Toys R Us. Uh, somebody must go and buy them all to throw them on eBay. Uh, here's Spider-Man's Doc Ock Tentacle Trap. This set's a nice build. Uh, I like the Doc Ock's uh, contraption. Um, here's the bridge. I did buy one of these, and I was debating about buying two, but after looking at the parts pack in it, I think you need three to build a full bridge, maybe even a little bit extra. Um, but I think a full bridge would look really good. Uh, it would take some creativity on your part, but it could be done. Next up, we have our DC Superhero sets. Um, I'm not as big a fan of the DC sets as I am of the Marvel sets, but the DC figures are more iconic to me because they're, the comic books were so much more popular when I was a kid. DC was like where it was at, but now Marvel wins. But you cannot go wrong with Batman. This is a good looking set. The Batcave. Um, I think we're going to have two Batcaves at once. Which that I find kind of interesting. Because I'm seeing the new Batcaves coming in the movie sets. So we'll see. Maybe they'll retire one of these. Um, you can't go wrong with these figures. All the DC figures look pretty good. Um, boomerang. Came with two Boomerangs. Here's our Scarecrow Harvest. And Raoul Ghoul's. Batman's Rescue. I, I'm, I really never read the comic books to be familiar with this particular character. So I may need to watch a movie or see some characters for it. Next up we have our Star Wars buildable characters. I'm not sure why they sell these, so I'm just going to pass by them. But they're in here. Alright, we have the Death Star. This is the remake of the Death Star. Um, this is their third attempt at it. Basically the same as the the first and the or excuse me, basically the same as the second one. Um, can't go wrong with it. If you don't have the first one, go get it. If you already have the first one, just pick up the figures. You don't need it again. The figures, they look good. Got a couple of more Star Wars sets. Um, there's two sets worth mentioning on here. I'll give you a quick overview of all of them. We have the Imperial Assault Hover Tank. We have the ATST. Um, if you want to see how this one looks, you can look at Jang's video. He did a nice job on that one. The Tie Striker, uh, good set. This is the the winner. This and the, and Krennix Imperial Shuttle, which I'll show you next. Um, this tie is phenomenal looking, and I really like the artwork on the box. I like this ship, um, and the figures look pretty cool too. I'd like a a few of the Imperial Shore Troopers. Krennic's Imperial Shuttle. This is by far the best set of this wave. Uh, it's the first unique and new set that they've come out in a little while. Um, I think it really it hits home. The build is fun. And the ship is pretty sturdy and it looks great. We've got the Rebel U-Wing Fighter. Not sure what I'd do with this. So I will just be picking up the figures for this set. Alright, on our next page of Star Wars, we have... An updated Captain Rex's ATTE, and we have the Encounter on Jakku. Uh, two good sets that I would recommend getting. Got the Resistance X Wing Fighter. 
Uh, I don't really need another X-Wing fighter, so I'll pass on that. But if you don't have one, great set. Um, this is a pass for me. Vader's TIE Advance versus the A-Wing Starfighter. Um, the figures look pretty good, but it's really just a parts pack after that. Alright, next up we have our supposed UCS sets. Um, I, it looks like they're grouping in the Millennium Falcon here, even though it's not a UCS. Um, you can't go wrong with the Millennium Falcon if you don't have one already. Price is crazy. I mean, I think this came out at 69 or 79 originally for the 7190 set. Uh, here's the Assault on Hoth. This is a waste. I can't believe they made this set, but they did. If you're a completist, you might want it. Uh, I will be passing on this one. Um, here's your, uh, Slave One. Uh, I think this is a big seller. A lot of people have always wanted a, a UCS set of the Slave One. The TIE Fighter, the best UCS set on the market right now. Um, you know what is missing is the Sand Crawler. I don't see the Sand Crawler in here. Which might just be an oversight, or maybe it's on its way out. I don't know. Uh, get the TIE Fighter, though. Alright. The next section is Nexo Knights. Um, there's quite a few Nexo Knights sets. I do not collect the Nexo Knights sets, uh, but I do collect the evil villains in Nexo Knights. They, they are great. These red minifigures... They have like 37 different varieties of red evil minifigures, and they just look awesome. Um, so I have been collecting all those. They match well, they look great. I have not been collecting the heroes, although some of the heroes do look pretty good. They've got good names. Pretty good story behind them. So I think that that line will stick around for a little while. A little bit more Nexo Knights. We've got the Vacation Getaway Camper. Um, it's a nice looking set, actually. Look at that bear. It's a good looking bear. Um, this has been on sale on Amazon all week. Well, Amazon and Walmart and Target. I think Target had the best price when you factor in the 5%. Here's Get the Treehouse Adventures. All right, we've got a one-page spread. Actually, look, I think there's gonna be two pages. A two-page spread on Ninjago. Um, I'm not a huge Ninjago fan, but this set is new to me. I haven't seen it yet. It's called the Samurai X Cave Chaos. All right, we've got another page in Ninjago. We've got a service station. Which I actually haven't seen yet. I think it's been out for a little while, but I've not seen this set. Got the Fun in the Park, the City People Pack. Go get it. Get two, maybe three. Um, it's a great set. Parts pack, the torsos, everything's unique. Lego City Volcano sets. Um, not my thing, but uh, the kids are going to love them over Christmas. Then we've got... Our Disney Princess sets. Um, I have not seen Belle's Enchanted Castle. Uh, I have seen these minifigures over on eBay. Um, might have to go get the lion. He looks pretty sharp. We've got Rapunzel's Best Day Ever. I think this might be the second Rapunzel set. Uh, a bunch of elves sets at the back of the catalog. Uh, if you're into elves, I believe this line is going to continue for a little while. Then we've got a two-page spread on the friend sets. Um, they're doing a good job with the friend sets. I think they're making them interesting. They're, they're they're unique. They're fitting in where, especially where girls would buy the city sets or other sets that overlap. I think that they are giving them an alternative that is really pretty cool. It's probably killing the dollhouse market, actually. Uh, any remnant of dollhouse market that was left will probably be replaced by this. The Friends Amusement Park sets, Heart Lake City Amusement Park. Um, set that stands out here, well actually there's two sets. One, the roller coaster, uh, blue track, it's similar to the Indiana Jones track from, I don't know, 2008 maybe. We've got the Amusement Park hot dog van. Go get one of these. It's the same hot dog suit. Um, great looking set. 
can't go wrong. See the hot dog guy in the back there? Hot dog guy's eating hot dogs. All right, last but not least on the back of the catalog, we have the Caterham 7 620R. Um, I did see this set recently at Toys R Us. Uh, you cannot go wrong with this set. It looks good. Uh, the price is right, and uh, it rounds out the car sets quite nicely. Thanks again. This is Sean from minifigpriceguide.com. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, visit the website and subscribe to my channel if you get a chance.